回のうち5回が1ラウンドという一発のバードファイターですさあ歴史的な戦いと始まりを告げるゴングがこれから鳴り響きますこちらがシャンプーをもらいましたがフェンテスのはですね、ええ、距離は長いと思ってもどんどん前に出てくると逆に縮ちまってきますよね、まあ、ですから東、まあ、からすると無理に入っていこうと思わなくても自分が届く距離になりますからはい田さん最初自分から積極的に行きましたが一発もらいましたよねそうなんですねちょっとそれが怖いところで、はい、やはり当てよう当てようと気になってちょっとやっぱり自分のもらう Opens up with that shot there, Diego Higa. Diego Higa. Measuring his opponent here, looking for the range to throw the jab. It's Diego. And,、uh, you know, Moses trying to land straight, trying to land some shots in here, but. Going to the body there with two hooks. Moses Fuente. There's a couple shots, not really landed clean though. Dago Higa stuns him with a jab and lands a couple shots afterwards already. Showing his power, and there's a wicked right hand shot. Hurts him badly. Another right hand. Daigo Higa. <laughs> Another right hand. He's catching him. And he definitely feels the power. This is a knockout artist here. Taking his time, setting it up. Quint is able to fight off the corner just a bit, but still finds himself backing up into the ropes. There's a body shot, and that, that'll be it. Two minutes and 30 seconds. There's your knockout. Daigo Higa. First round stoppage. There you go. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Brilliant, brilliant first round performance. Defense of his WBC title. Daigo Iga. Daigo Iga. Yeah, he's got the WBC title. So impressive stuff there from Iga. Getting the job done. And walking away with a first round KO. There's the highlight. Double left hook to the body. And you know what it is, man. Shout out to YouTube Asian Boxing. <laughs> That's what's up. Dago Iga. He came into this fight looking for a knockout. And he did it, man. And of course, you know, in Japan, he didn't have to fly. Fly out. You know, a lot of dangerous opponents out there. 
at 112 and 115. I'd like to see him move up. Like, I'd like to see, i like to see all these little divisions unified in one fucking tournament. That's what I'd like to see. But, um, I think this World Boxing Super Series is such a great, uh, example of what excellence is in boxing, where you, you, you come right down to the end and it's, it's A class opponent versus A class challenger. And all the titles are being unified. It's awesome. That's awesome. They should do the same shit in super flyweight, and these guys would be stars. I'm telling you, these guys would be like superstar level guys. Like, it would definitely elevate that division to, uh, to great fights. I mean, these super flyweights, they have damn near the best fights. Quality, quality wise, and you know featherweights have have always been like a legendary division for these fucking wars, awesome fights. You know Barrera Morales, Morales Pacquiao, Pacquiao Marquez. I mean I, Pacquiao got mixed up in with these fucking Mexican legends and shit, and and they made great fights for the pat for like so long. It's incredible the year span. You know, Morales, Barrera 1 happened in like 96 or some shit. And they fight, they could go 10 years. And Barrera could be fighting, you know, he damn near fought Amir Khan. So, and, and you think about when Barrera Morales 3 happened, that was like 2000 something, no? So th these guys have been fighting for damn near 10, 12 years, having wars with each other. And we need to see the next version of that. And I think that's where the super flyweights is. Just look at 115 pounds. Inouye's the champion. Sorung besides the champion. Fucking that dude, uh, Ancasas. Jerwin Ancasas, who just uh, got a knockout last night. Damn near... Um, champion now, uh, he's the champion of that division as well. It's Ancajas, and there's another dude. So there's four champions in that super flyweight division. They got to unify, man. They just start. That's what needs to start happening. And then you're going to see quality of fights are going to go through the roof. You're going to see great fights, and these guys putting it on, on the line, and just give the winner fucking five million. That's it, man. That's all you got to do. And just make the TV money. God damn. If this World Box... HBO would buy that shit in a minute. I'm telling you. That's what Richard Schaefer got it. Richard Schaefer... He, maybe he can put it together. Who knows? But... That's a, that's some old other shit. I'd love to see something like that, man. I would. As a boxing fan. These guys need to fight each other. And, and, then, and then you have a chance... To see if, if these, some of these smaller guys... At 113 pounds want to move up... And test their might for this fucking big ass tournament. And just have a, have a couple spots for some of the best guys. Maybe in a lower division. Or maybe in a, in, 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 in a higher division. Who knows? Just fucking unify three divisions somehow. <laughs> I just brainstorm, man. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. You know what it is, man. This little guy's putting on a show. And we got, what, Sor Rungvisai? He's also finna be fighting. Um, he's gonna be fighting. He's gonna be fighting. Uh, is he gonna be back on HBO? I don't know. I swear he's gotta fight with the Estrada or something. He's, he's fighting with Estrada. And that's gonna be um, on HBO. And I think that's the only fight they've announced. So HBO, man. Like, get some of these fighters on your network. Like, goddamn. They don't even have a schedule out. <laughs> they got one fight and a pay-per-view. Man, they got to step their game up. What else is going on? New England Patriots. Patriots football. Looking to uh, looking for the Super Bowl. Face Philadelphia. That's going to be that's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great game no matter what. But we'll see what happens. He can fight news, you know what it is. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. It is what it is, guys. Peace out, take care.